Okay, so let's make sure we've understood this clever interpretation of tan using slopes. So tan of theta, what is it? Well, let's just remind ourselves very quickly what the deal is. If I have a unit circle centered at zero, radius one, then when I'm talking about the sine or cosine of theta, right? That's just the x and y coordinates, isn't it, right? Or vice versa. Cosine is the x coordinates and sine is the y coordinate. So what we've just seen is that this blue line here, this blue line, we've realized that the slope of this line is equal to tangent of theta. So what that means is I need to calculate the slope of this blue line. The slope of this blue line will be equal to tan of theta. But that's not too difficult, you see, because this straight line goes through the origin there, 0, 0. And I know what this position is over here. It's not on the unit circle, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be able to work out the slope using it. So this would imply that tan of theta is equal to the slope of the blue line which is what? Well, it's rise over run. It'd be minus one, I'm sorry, minus a half minus zero divided by seven over four minus zero. So this is just my usual y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So if I'm going to be super careful about it, I'm thinking about this basically as my y, sorry, my x2 comma y2. And I'm thinking about here, the origin is equal to x1, y1. So I'm just using the usual rise over run formula. What does this give me? Well, it's minus a half divided by 7 over 4. When you do this, so let me just do it properly. So this is minus a half multiplied by 4 over 7. That would be 4 divided by 14. I can factor out a factor of 2. This would be minus 2 divided by 7. So that's tangent of this theta. So a really clever way of interpreting tangent using the slope. And we're able to calculate it because we have two points on this line.